So the difference from where you were at the very start of these sessions to where you are now is completely different. Good Back to see again. you again. <laughs> yeah, thank you. No, looking forward to this. It's been uh, not that long, but I want to keep it moving, keep yeah. it progressing, because uh, where it started to where it ended in that short space of time was pretty impressive. So thank you. <laughs> what do you feel that you did well? Listened well. Yeah, um, you did. Yeah, no, listened well, but also I was just following what you were telling me to do, and that clearly was working Brilliant. quite well. And it wasn't, we didn't spend that long together, really. So there's, um, if that was the speed that we can move at in that amount of time, then um, that's why I'm so excited to see what else we can do in even a bit more time. So Yeah, as I say to a lot of people, um, you're on the journey. I know the destination. Yeah. Uh, so I know how everything's going to look at the end, but I want you to really enjoy the transformation. And dare I say, enjoy your golf swing? Yeah. Um, not that many people, I would say. They hit nice golf shots, but they don't necessarily enjoy their golf swing. So mm. I want you to have both. Uh, so the best of both worlds. So what we'll do, we'll just do, uh, I want to watch you hit a couple of shots, just as a recap, just to make sure that you've remembered some of the stuff we spoke about last time. Mm -hmm. uh, and then today, I think we need to work a little bit more on the steering wheel. I want to start you, uh, I want you to start hitting shots towards our intended target, where you know how you're hitting it there, rather than hoping that you hit it to target. So we've got the shape, uh, and we'll do some refining today and just get you uh, feeling yeah. much better. Cool. Well, the feedback last week was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Uh, I... <laughs> From friends that I, I shared clips with. Um, I haven't really practiced um, that much since we saw each other. Yeah. By what I have done is no club in the kitchen or bathroom just to keep my kind of set up and shape right. Uh, is that a bad thing that I've not practiced? I would say that's absolutely normal. So uh, professionals, it's their job, they go and do it as much as possible. But people, what I call recreational golfers or, or avid golfers, tend not to have the time to go and practice yeah. as much as they want to. So anything that you've done at home is going to help. Uh, and because you're relatively new to golf, you haven't got those bad habits. So mm. we, it's not like we're having to undo a load of things. We're just trying to get it all better. Yeah. So can I watch you hit a couple of shots? Let's just see Let's go for it. what happens. I've been hitting a few, but um, let's see how yours does. I have seen that you've put a nice little lake in front of me. For the first <laughs> I was hoping you hadn't noticed. <laughs> Usain Bolt. Wow, it's off right. Oh. <laughs> Good stuff. So any, anything we do today is probably going to be slightly better than that. Which is absolutely standard. So let's hit one yeah, more. That was a. Um, that didn't feel very good anyway on the. Okay, so as you're doing the setup, what are you remembering? Um, heads, hips, feet. Arms, hips, knees. Arms, hips, almost. Yeah, you got it. Cool. Soften, relax. Brilliant. Take the breath. Okay. So body movement's not looking too bad. We still need to refine it. But what's interesting now is we're hitting shots a little bit offline. Mm -hmm. So today I want to really talk about how we can help you hit the ball to your intended target rather than hoping you hit it there. Okay, so... Always ideal. <laughs> so if you could make your setup, I just need my... Was the setup okay? You're setting up brilliantly, yeah. Okay. And what I love about that, Luke, is you're just following the routine. Yeah. So you're not kind of guessing to see if you're the right. Follow the routine. You're always gonna. You're always gonna be right. Yeah. That's what I like about that routine. So yeah. if you just make your setup for me. A little bit worried about what you're gonna do with these. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't hurt too much. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm gonna do is just gonna put this in line with your toes, which is towards our intended target line. Okay. Okay. Now. If you could bring the club to about hip height for me. Okay, now what we're looking for, this line here is where we want the ball to go. Now what I was seeing when I watched the video back of your swing, your swing was tending to go a little bit more around here. Mm -hmm. Now, if I bring the club on that path on the way through, I don't know if you remember last time, quite a lot of your shots were going off, right. off to the right. Yeah. yeah. So what we want to do is try and get this, what I call the steering wheel, a little bit more in line with our target. Okay. So if we get a half swing right here and then match that up with good body movement here, yeah. then we're going to start to hit the ball towards our target. Now, can we just swap places a yeah. second? So if you just stand this side for me, 
Um, so it's all right having the arms right, get the arms right, but we also need to match that up with the body once we've hit it. So we're trying to get this shaft parallel to your ball to target line. Mm -hmm. And as we strike the golf ball, can you see now how my body's moving? Mm -hmm. So where am I facing? Yeah, forwards. Facing forward. Now, what's going to happen with this shot, we'll probably, we won't have enough energy to hit it over the water. So these are probably going to pop in the water, but that doesn't really matter uh, for the purpose of this. So we're just going to go to about hip height and through to hip height, okay? So if we can get the first bit right, then we can <laughs> add the next bits to it. But going into what you've just said then, yep. there's literally no time to a actually think about that. So yep. um, where and how do you make the, obviously we want it to be my default, so I'm not thinking about it, but I'm now thinking if I pull back the swing and yeah, so there's not much time, is there? To think there, about there it. isn't much time, but so, and this is why it's important that we do it through repetition. So that the rep, if we're repeating the same thing correctly, we then start to have to not think about it so much. Yeah. So this is why it's important to what I call rehearse the movement. So we're we're trying to get that shaft parallel to your target. Now, on at the end of the shaft is the club face. So yeah. I'm going to keep an eye on the club face, okay. but I don't want you to worry about that because then it becomes another thing to start to think about. So what we're trying to do is get the angle of the swing right once you've hit it. So all the way That's through. Right. So. If I'm, ju I'm just going to slightly alter this. So I'm going to get you to hips the turn. That's it. And now, can you feel everything's facing target? And then this will be more here. Okay. So let's start all over again. Let's do that again. So through repetition is where we'll get this certainty. So we're only going to go to about here once we've made contact with it through to there. Now, when I'm holding the golf club, another thing that I can sense is how tight you're starting to hold it. Yeah. And because we're trying to get the club in the correct place, it's really normal for people to start to hold it tight mm -hmm. to achieve that. Ideally, we're trying to do that in a more relaxed way. Okay. Brilliant. That's it. So let's try a few. So you might get it right, you might get it wrong, but my job is to just keep checking it. Okay. Brilliant. So the width is stance good, ball position's good, posture's good. Okay. So if you just make your setup again, what we'll have seen then on camera is your club was all the way around about, yeah. here. Yeah, which is totally normal. So could you do this at what I would call half speed for you? Okay. So this is just a gentle tap to about here, all the way That's through right. to that way. So here's okay. the hope. So just nice and gentle. Okay. So it's starting to go in a better direction, but I can still see the clubs going too much. Too high. So let me explain what inside, outside is, or online. So if I took the club to here, your golf club is pointing from out to in yeah. of this line on here. So that would be incorrect. What you're doing is your club's coming too much from in to outside your target line. So that's, that's where we're trying to get it. Because when this bit's right, this bit's going to be really simple. Yeah. And that's going to enable us to bring the club back and, to and the And the how to do that is just repetition. We're it's just repetition. Okay. So the best thing to do in practice, if you're, if you, uh, even if you didn't uh, have any golf balls to hit at home, if you've got a stick, yeah. you could literally start bringing it to here. So now when we're playing, we wouldn't have the stick on the floor. So yeah. what reference point could we use? Just a line in the, um, if you've got flooring or whatever, or lining the With carpet. the flooring or your feet. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah. So, you, so your feet are going <laughs> in the right direction. Yeah, so we could have lines. We might have things on the floor, but that... So this is now in a much better place to start okay. to hit this straighter. Yeah, this so feels that, like a challenge, but one that obviously is part of... Just think lesson. of think of it this way. If, if it starts offline, it's probably going to stay offline. Yeah, yeah. Then you're going to have to make compensations. And what we're trying to avoid is compensations. We just yeah. want it to be right here. So let's do one more this way, because this is going to be a bit of homework for you. So you're going to have to practice the half swing. Um, but then I want to make it feel much nicer. Okay. Okay, because this possibly feels a little bit more robotic for you. That's it. Okay, good setup. Well done. Okay. 
Oh, I've made it. <laughs> and that's with a little half swing. You've just hit that 84 yards. The club was still offline, but now we're going to change the way that you move yeah. your wrist to make it go. I really better. thought about that time. Yeah. Rather than just hoping. I was that's trying to right. think about this boy. So although, although you oh, haven't wow. been playing overly long, there is a habit that had crept in that yeah. we're just going to keep getting rid of. Okay. okay. So if you make your setup again, and, and then we're going to make this feel a whole lot nicer. Okay. So once we've got to hip height, what we're going to do now is what we call cock the wrist. Yeah. So your left wrist is now cocking. Now the butt of the club is now pointing more, maybe just inside the golf ball. Now, if we'd done it from where you were, it would be right. pointing over here. Yeah. Can you see how much Big different difference. that? Yeah. So what we saw on, on the last video is the swing was getting a little bit too far around here, which would make it a bit more difficult to hit it consistently straight. So we're going to go here and then that becomes the next one. So roughly your lead arm is now parallel towards your target okay. line. If it starts going too much in here, that can cause the shots to go a bit more yeah. offline. So we'd and presumably more injury more twisted i'm afraid so yeah <laughs> so it feels a bit more that way ready so let's just we're going to rehearse this a few more times there so as i'm moving the club what feels different my left foot is naturally coming up yeah for one uh, and it's smoother it feels smoother and how does the wrist action feel well i'd probably need to work on that grip which you said last time to yep. do so make sure that that's just right. Get that's in the right place. That's it. So if you just do that, it just yeah. comes easily. Cool. Now what we'll do is is to learn. Sometimes we have to do it wrong. That's how we're going to learn from it. Which so I do. So if naturally. I do here, what feels different now as you move the wrists? It hurts. It hurts. <laughs> yeah. And back. how's that right elbow? It's tucked really tucked in. Really tucked in yeah. tight. Yeah. So if I did to do it right, that's okay. Yeah, it's quite far away then. Oh, is it. that right? Yep. So your arm is still relaxed. I don't want it locked up straight because that's really bad for hitting golf shots. Everybody tells you to keep it straight, but it's comfortably what I call long rather than straight. But I love the way that this club now is getting up to the right angle then back to square. Now, do we just start with the backswing or is there a bit more to it? There's got to be more okay, to it. Okay, so I'm going to move the ball out of the way and I want you to just do a couple of swings. So try to replicate it roughly. Well done, well done. Oh, what was that like? Very good. <laughs> yeah, I like, like it. So we turn and just let it hinge up. Okay, cool. Okay, so let's just try it. Let's give with it a the, go. With the ball, we'll go for With it. the ball, we'll let's do it. one with the ball. That's it. And then we're going to take the rod away. Okay. Okay. What's going through your mind now? I'm really thinking. Okay. I'm really... Um, what In what way? In what are you thinking? Going through the steps, the process, yeah. um, and yeah, just I'm, I'm thinking about every component. Cool. Because obviously you're, you're, you're just giving me that feedback, so my setup, which will become natural. So the nice thing is with the setup, once you've done it, forget about it, it's done. Yeah. Yeah, that's so true, yeah. tick. And that's what I like about process. So once you've done it, forget yeah. about it. So. Ideally, we could just rehearse it, and that's the feeling, hopefully, that we're looking for. So, at the moment, this will feel like a lot of conscious thought. Yes. What we what that will blend into is just emotion. But what I'm trying to do is get this to feel more and more natural. Yeah. Yeah. Now, as you're doing this, another thing's happening with the body that's not quite right, but we'll fix that. But the first thing to do is get this bit right. Yeah. Yeah. So sometimes as we're as we're working on something new, some of the old habits might creep back in. But mm -hmm. my job's just keep keep that at bay. But just to make you aware that we'll just improve the body motion as we keep doing it. So what we're really doing here is taking away hope and getting it with certainty. Yeah, which That's is it. the basis of a lot of my shots, hoping that it goes in the right place. Not anymore. Okay, cool. Lovely. Now, how did that feel? Uh, the word I'd say is effortless. Effortless, yeah. And yet you've just hit it uh, 83 yards, but more importantly, uh, you're 10 foot offline. <laughs> so already we're starting to hit the ball where we want it to go rather than where we hope it okay. goes before. Uh, and that's happening through good technique. Okay. Okay, cool. Now, if you can do that once more, 
then I'm going to get the full swing. If I yeah. get this once more, does that mean I'm consistent? Uh, practice makes permanent, remember. <laughs> so let's do it well. Good. Hold up. So compared to last time, you're already hitting it better. And we, we've we kind of gone backwards a little bit in terms of the half swing and the three quarter swing, but that's just so that we can start hitting it more towards our intended target. So already we can see more of these balls are going on the green than they were into the sand or into the left side yeah. of the water. And that's just because we're getting the and feedback in wise, the place. <laughs> because I'm not seeing it exactly, but was that, it's, it's much, much closer. Straighter. Yeah. It's never going to be perfect today because this takes a little bit of practice. So it might still want to go a little mm -hmm. bit in here, but already it's on a better line than it was. Let, can I just, um, let me just show you this for a second. Okay. So I just want to show you something really simple. If you can just stand this up for me. So what we've got here is two, two canes. The worst shots that we can hit in golf is right going right and left going left. So if they're the worst, somewhere in the middle is better. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's what we want. So the two worst angles of golf swing that we can have is perfectly upright or perfectly flat. So if they're the worst, what's the best? Somewhere in the middle of those. Right, so what, okay. we, what, I've, what we've been doing here is by getting this bit right and starting to set the wrist correctly, we're now slotting this into the better place. Mm -hmm. So before, yours would have wanted to go a little bit more around this angle. That so we're just, just trying to get this going yeah. on a much better path. I think as well, when I'm on a golf course in the future and it's gone off right, I'll know why. Yeah. Not knowing why before was it's always going to be difficult because I can't, yeah. how do I fix that? Or, that that's, yeah. So we're, we're now working on what we call the swing path, just trying to get this in the right angle. So shall I make this feel really nice now? Yes, please. Cool. Great. That almost looks like somebody's put some oil on you and it's just lubricated the swing. It looks <laughs> much up. more, yeah. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Such a different looking golf swing now. Careful, that one's carrying. You're laughing in a good way now. <laughs> I'm just going for a cheer. I'm not going to do a cheer. I don't know.